Hi, everybody. Happy Saturday. I hope you're doing well. Just wanted to pop on here and give you some market stats. Everybody wants to know about that and then talk about property taxes that nobody wants to talk about. So let's talk about the good stuff first. Uh, for uh, Johnson County, the average sales price was $364,000. For Tarrant County, it was $408,000. Months of inventory for Johnson is one month. For Tarrant is 0.6. The list price to close price, meaning sales price, for Johnson was 104%. For Tarrant County, it was 105%. We still have a crazy, crazy market. If you've had people talking about waiting for the um, other shoe to drop on the market, it's not happening. Um, we are actually anticipating just in our area within 10 years an additional 20,000 people. Uh, yes, so I have information on that. And also, I have information on uh, the bond election in Burleson. So if you guys need any info on that, it's just for infrastructure, police, and fire. It has nothing to do with schools. Um, reach out to me. I can give you info on that if you would like it. So let's talk about property taxes. So I've been getting a lot of calls from people. Um, what do I do? How do I do it? It's too high. Yeah, well, it is too high, but there are a couple things that you can do. The first thing you can do is you can go online, the Johnson County Tax Office, and you can protest online with them. However, it's just the online form, front and back. I was really hoping that you could just go on and plug in a number and they would either accept it, reject it, or give you their number. But no, it's just the online form. So I would encourage you to go ahead and protest your taxes, especially if your home has not been updated or maybe you have some foundation problems, which I hope you don't. But um, I don't know, maybe your roof is in disrepair. Maybe there's some things going on there. The house down the street sold for 300, but your home's not updated. And you're like, well, mine's not gonna sell for 300. So take that into consideration and on that form, because I did mine, um, you can let them know the things that are going on with your home. And when you do that, you will get a confirmation. It just says online protest confirmation. And then somebody will get in touch with you over that. And you can either go in person before the appraisal board, or you can talk to them about it over the phone, which I would encourage you to do that. But if you are an in-person, I'm going to tell it like it is, then go for it. And I hope that you're very, very successful. The second thing you can do is um, on Monday, May 25th, starts early voting. Election day is May 7th. Go vote for Proposition 2. It's increasing the amount of the homestead exemption from 25000 to 40000 so go vote, tell your family, tell your friends. If you don't vote for anything else, go vote for that because we could all use some property tax relief. Now, if I can do anything else for you, please let me know. You know I'll be more than happy to help you. If you know a family member or a friend is thinking about moving, please give me their information. I promise I'll take great care of them. Also, if they're going out of town, if they're moving out of town, even out of state, I can connect them with a really good realtor. I have connections all over the country. You guys take care. I hope to see you soon, which I will. And maybe we'll get a little bit of rain on Sunday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye.